Hi, hello. Um, so I've just done um, a video starting a tab bound journaler, a Tim Holtz style tab bound journal as part of the Tim Holtz a thon. And the last time I did a tab bound journal, um, as I probably explained in the other video, um, I used the um, the fabric tape, the Tim Holtz tape. Uh, I wanted to do something a bit different this time, so um, I've made a, a sort of super grunged um, piece of linen. I just used a piece of basic linen and I've grunged it up. And um, this is just a super quick video showing you how I do that. Um, I don't know if this is the right way or wrong way to do this. I don't think there is a right way or wrong way to do this, but this is kind of how I created this. Um, this will then be torn into sort of thin strips um, and used for the tab binding. And, and I think it's quite cool. I like the grungy look. That's kind of what I'm going for. So um, so I thought I'd jump on super quick and show you how I do it. Kids are downstairs watching telly. So um, let's be quick. I've just put a few bits of paper down just to try and protect my mat, which is getting some real hammering at the minute. Um, so I've torn up a piece of linen and I've sprayed it with water. Um, I find that that helps just the absorbency and... Um, yeah things just to, to soak in and, and spread a little bit what i'm not a fan of on this linen is some of the splodges look a little bit too defined a bit too purposeful i prefer it when they're a bit more blurred and um i don't know maybe that's just me so um i've put lots of lots of water i've just got a, a basic um we sprayer this is one of the continuous ones i got this off amazon i think it's like a hairdresser's one but it's really cool um yeah, so give that a nice spray so you can... I don't know if you can tell or not, but that's, that's pretty wet. Um, I'm going to give it a bit of a base spray. I've used a little bit of coffee just because I like how it just sort of... just. I don't know if you can tell very well, but it's just sort of dulled from the original bright linen colour, just ever so slightly. So the lighting is pretty rubbish today. It's, it's been like 20... Well, yesterday it was like 31 degrees, today's 27, but it's quite overcast, so the lighting isn't great, but there we are. Um, so just a little light spray of coffee. I'm going to do both sides. Um, a bit more water on that side, I think. And see if you can tell the difference when I spray. If I just sort of do over here, can you see how that sort of darkens slightly? Kind of, kind of, hopefully. Yeah, it's not brilliant, the lighting, but there we go. Um, I'm using some of the, uh, in the, the spirit of the Tim holtz -a -thon, the Distress um, spray stain. So I'm going to do a little bit of vintage photo. And as I spray, I, as I say, I don't want any def sort of definition on any of the splodges. So I'm sort of topping up the water a little bit just to make sure that they spread nicely. I'm doing um, a bit of old paper as well because I really like the sort of, greeny tinge that that gives almost sort of a bit of a moldy look i'm doing this a bit heavier with the green than the last one just check it's soaking in at both sides um i did use tarnished brass on the last one but i didn't i wasn't i wasn't a fan of how that set so i'm not going to do that one and just an ever so slight spray of speckled egg just to give a bit of a bolder color can she do a slight spray can we kind of I hope this comes out all right. Hmm. Um, obviously, it's soaky through to the papers underneath, which is nice for dyeing a bit of paper as well at the same time. Um, my fingers already is wrecking my holiday nails. Um, the other thing I've used is alcohol inks. Now, I'm going to start with um, some of the lighter colours. So I've got one of the pearl ones. Again, they give a bit of a sheen, which isn't really what I'm going for, but I do like the sort of mustardy colour and I don't have very many alcohol inks. Um, I must get some more, but... So I'm going to go in with a few of these. Now I have some of the alcohol blending spray. I've just got this one and it's, it's nearly out already. I think Tim does one as well, but this is the one that I have in my cupboard. So, um, yeah, it's, it sort of just helps blur it a little bit. So I'm just going to give it a light spritz all over. Again, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to use the blending solution. I've seen it done on mixed media projects, but um, as in on canvas or paper, but not necessarily on fabric. So we like to experiment and I'm just going to drop a few splodges. Now, what I don't want, as I said, are the definite lines. So I'm giving them an extra spray on top and I have a little brush. I'm just going to sort of blend the colour out with and push the, the 
colour around a little bit. It kind of still does leave the spodge in the middle, but it doesn't look as defined, if that makes sense. Can you see that? Shall I zoom in a bit more? Is that better? So I'm just sort of pushing the colour around a little bit. And I'm going to keep checking it's going through to the other side. Which it is. So you can kind of go in whatever colour you colours you want, really. I'm doing. So I thought my kids were shouting then. Um, yeah, I'm doing sort of. I want rusty sort of colours. Is is kind of the look I'm going for. Now oh, these are really. This is really heavy. This orange. So that last one was. Sorry, I didn't even show you. That was um, Alchemy, the alcoholic pearl ink. I'm going to continue spreading as I'm talking. And this was Splendour. There you are, Splendour. So I'm really trying to blend this one out. Just to give it sort of that rusted tinge. I'm going to have to get that ring light back up. Um, yeah, I think I've explained before. I do have another light in here, but it's just awkward to you so I used a little sort of clippy one and, and record on my phone but it doesn't have a light and when it's quite overcast it does get a little bit dull in here um next one it's not one of the pearl ones it's just a plain add alcohol ink that's rust which is precisely what I'm going for okay a bit more on this side just sort of on the edges maybe definitely going to use all this up today I like how it sort of splodges out a bit. And you can sort of go back to them, I find, and blend them out further. Maybe mix some of the colours up. You just don't want anything that looks too purposeful. Maybe a bit more water. I don't think the water really does anything to the alcohol. Well, it won't do anything to the alcohol links. It's, um, it's the spray that you need. Um, I've got ground, well, it's not ground espresso. It's just espresso alcohol ink, which is quite dark. So I'm not going to go mad with this one. So let's try and get the edge there. And I have to remember I'm tearing these into strips rather than using a full piece. I'm trying to get a bit of an even spread of the colours. Yeah, this comes out a really bold colour and it doesn't seem to want to spread too well. Ooh, got a thread. I mean, you could just sort of leave it, scrunch it and see how it turns out. I'm, I'm hoping to try some rust. Um, do you call it rust dyeing at some point? Dyeing with some rusty stuff. Because, um, I, yeah, I kind of like how that looks. Um, and I've never done it before. So if anyone can point me in the direction of some good tutorials, please feel free. Um, the last colour I think we're going to arrange with the Laguna. So this is sort of the greeny tinge, which is kind of the same reason why I use the speckled egg stain. Um, I feel like I don't have much in the middle. So I'm going to go for that. But again, trying to remember that the strips will um, obviously only show what they show. So I'm trying to get more of a spread. Kind of like how that spread naturally, actually. So I don't know whether to do so. It's a bit of blending in from the edge just to colour that. Yeah, I like that. Cool with that. But can you see how these are really defined? That's kind of what 
I didn't want, but I don't know. What do you think? How does that look? I think I'm going to give another last spritz of some vintage photo just to darken. Oh, <laughs> just to darken some areas. That was meant to be a light spritz. That didn't work at all. Um, there we are. And as we turn it, as I say, dying a bit of paper at the same time. Why not? Splodge that about. And I'm going to leave that to dry. I used my heat tool um, ew, on the last one. And it's kind of, I kind of like how it's almost singed some of the, the frayed edges. So, yeah, I quite like that. But I'm just going to leave this one for now because kids and that. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully if I can zoom back out again, that will end up something like this. And then we can use them on our project. If I haven't already posted the other one, this is what we're starting with. Um, this is going to be my tab bound journal. I've got some um, sheets from the one of the Tim Holtz sets and cut them down to different widths and sizes. And we're going to do some tab binding at the side and, and have a nice funky flippy journal. Um, but do you see I was kind of going for kind of the rusty colours? Um, with the picking up the greens, so hopefully that will work really well. You can imagine some of the binding on the side from that. Looking forward to it. So um, yeah, short, short but sweet. Um, and there we have it. Cool. Right. Catch you later. Bye.